y'all welcome. This is a <clears throat> this is another uh, great moment for South Carolina. We are we are bristling with new businesses and innovation, with high tech and brain power, and we are very careful uh, not to move too fast. We use the old carpenter's rule, which is you measure twice and cut once. And so in the in growing hemp, that is precisely the way that we, we have operated. And, and here today, we're marking yet another step forward in business production and growth and innovation in South Carolina. And that's with the growth of, growth of hemp, which has many, many uses across uh, all sorts of products and innovative things uh, in our in our country and, and around the world. And uh, one of the leaders on that, the main leader, is Davy Hyatt. Davy? Thank you, Governor. Yes, sir. Thank you. It is a privilege of mine to be standing here today uh, as we sign this bill, Governor. We appreciate your participation in this and uh, all these individuals that are around me. I certainly can't stand here and take credit for this. There's a lot of, lot of people at the table today, but uh, we truly believe that uh, the hemp program that's being established in the state of South Carolina is going to be something that our farmers can can benefit from. We hopefully it'll be a profitable thing for our farmers. Uh, we, we know that um, a lot of our industry in the state of South Carolina uses hemp product and so it's a, it's a product that our farmers can grow. It can be processed here in the state of South Carolina. It can be bought by our uh, manufacturing organizations in South Carolina. So we're excited about that. We thank the Department of Agriculture. I know uh, Clint Leach is here with the Department of Agriculture, and we thank them for their, their leadership in, the role, in this uh, industry. Uh, they came to us at a, several years ago and said, we think this can be a crop that our farmers can, can rely on, can grow as an extra crop, and can be a, a profitable one for them. And so they came to us, and we started uh, in the House and the Senate. My fellow senators are here, and they did a great job uh, as, we, as we worked along this thing together. Uh, our original plan was that we would allow 20 farmers the first year would grow it and the second year was going to be 40 farmers and then the third year was going to be unlimited. Well, the federal government uh, helped us out a little bit and uh, after the first year they sort of opened up the process a little bit and, uh, and uh, said it, it was no longer a controlled substance, it would just be a commodity product. And so after they uh, passed that in Washington, we were allowed to open it up a little bit in the state of South Carolina and according to uh, what Clint has told us recently that uh, there'll be about over 160 I believe over 160 farmers that will be allowed to grow it this coming year and then the following year it'll be unlimited so there's a lot of folks that have inquired about how they get to grow it how they how they can be one of the people that, that uh, it gets involved in this program so we foresee this being a, a uh, expanding program and hemp used to be a product in South Carolina. And uh, it, uh, over the years, it got pushed aside by many other uh, products, but it used to be a vi viable product in South Carolina. So we're bringing it back. And so today, uh, as soon as the governor puts the ink to the paper there, we'll, we'll hopefully uh, allow that to happen. And uh, I don't stand here and take any credit for it. I had a little role in it, but all these other folks, there's some farmers here, and um, you folks that want to do some interviews, you talk to them, not to me, because they're the ones that are going to make it happen. This is, I, my part stops right here. And so these, these are the folks that will make it happen. But thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for your part in it. Yes, sir. And we look forward to getting started on it. Any questions before we sign? How, how much of an investment or boost to the economy will it, will it provide South Carolina once this does take hold and, and more, more growers are out there? Clint, you want to step up and see, kind of give us an idea of what our farmers have seen so far? Well, one thing you notice, this, this uh, adds to our diversity. It's always good to have diverse production, whether it's industrial production in business or in agriculture. And if, uh, if uh, Commissioner Weathers were, were, were here, he would, uh, we w went up uh, yesterday to Dillon County where Purdue Farms expanded their operation there with 25 million more dollars and 100 more employees added to the the uh, thousand plus that they have, and there are about a uh, hundred farmers that supply uh, the, the chickens, and uh, about a hundred uh, producers of grain and feed for those chickens. So all of these things have a multiplier effect. But this will this will produce uh, will, will allow 
uh, great, greater strength. And for, for many of our farmers, it, it will give them a, another source of, of good, strong revenue. You said it very well. Then, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, come on up, Clint. Clint Leach, Department of Agriculture. Thank you, Governor. Um, hemp is a very diverse product. Um, farmers uh, standing behind us uh, growing it for uh, oils. Uh, they're growing it for textiles. They're growing it for hempcrete, which is a new product um, that that is uh, being used. Uh, not as a replacement, but um, with concrete, uh, a little bit stronger, lighter, cheaper. Um, so it's it's a very diverse, I think there's more than 10,000 uses um, across the spectrum. So it's it's a good opportunity for our farmers to diversify um, as we've gone through challenging times. They're looking for other opportunities um, to make a, make a profit and, and, and keep their family farms in business. I don't know if anybody's clothes are made of hemp today, but they will be for long. And Absolutely. the car seats you sit on, and the insulation that goes in your house, all those things are, are, are made with, with hemp, or can be made with hemp. It's very versatile, which is, is the reason for, or the, one of the reasons we're so interested in opening this up in South Carolina. Well, farm agriculture is our biggest biggest uh, business uh, in the state. I can't remember how many billion it is, but we have manufacturing, you have tourism, and you have agriculture. And if forestry is a part of that, it's, uh, it's, it's clearly the dominant one. So anything that helps agriculture helps uh, helps the rest of the state. Uh, there's an expression that it, in in some parts of our state to say, if, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> well, if agriculture's not happy, nobody's happy. And we are, it's great that we have the, the strong uh, farmers that we have, a, a great farming uh, tradition, plenty of wonderful farmland out there, and this will add to the strength of the state. Okay, let's sign. Ready? Let's sign. <laughs>